assalamu alaikum dear students i hope uh, you are doing well uh today is uh, 1st april 2020 and uh, uh, we are going to discuss lecture number 14 uh, and in this lecture uh, we will discuss uh, uh, different topics in chapter number 1 which is uh, the foundations logic and proofs as we have uh, discussed in previous lectures uh, about propositions and various operators which we can perform on propositions as well okay so let's start today's topic today we will discuss uh, applications of, of propositional logic okay so if you have uh, understood understood the basic idea of uh, propositions so now we can apply propositional propositional logic on various applications okay the first application uh, is uh, how we can translate real life uh, english sentences into equivalent propositional logic or expression okay so topic is applications of propositional logic topic number 1.2 so let's have some examples uh, how we can translate english sentences into equivalent logical expression so here is example number 1 how can this english sentence be translated into a logical expression so here is an english sentence and our task is to just translate this english sentence into equivalent logical expression and remember that um, logical expression contains logical or logical operators and other operators as well plus propositional variables okay so let's start to translate example number 1 example number 1 is uh, uh, here so this is example number 1 uh example number 1 is you can access the internet from campus only if you are a computer science major or you are not a freshman okay so the basic idea to translate a logical expression into equivalent uh, uh, english sentence into equivalent logical sentence are expression is that you you just have to identify the sub propositions in english sentence so this is a sub proposition this is you are a computer science major this is also a sub uh, proposition you are not a freshman this is also a sub proposition so first of all you have to identify sub propositions and then we will uh, we will assign propositional variables to these proposition which we have identified before Be, uh, for example you can access internet from campus we can represent this sub proposition using a variable and you are a computer science major this sub proposition we can represent using c propositional variable and f propositional variable is representing here you are a freshman okay so now we can easily translate this english sentence into equivalent logical expression using these propositional variables mentioned here okay so here you can read you can access the internet from campus we can translate this sentence by a propositional variable and then if only if means there is a conditional operator so we can represent conditional operator by using arrow symbol then you are a computer science major so this sentence can be can be replaced by c and then there is or so or can or means or operator and you are not a freshman this sentence can be replaced by negation f so we can 
replaced this by negation f so hence we have uh, translated the above english sentence into equivalent logical expression okay i hope you have understood what we have done here uh, this example uh, is also solved in this book and we have same answer uh, you can replace uh, you can compose after uh, implication operator uh, using braces uh, because uh, if you have multiple uh, propositional variables after uh, implication operator so you can combine into braces okay so let's move on uh, to the other example uh, here we have another example example number two how can this english sentence be translated into a logical expression so there is an english sentence you cannot write the roller coaster if you are under four feet tall unless you are older than 16 years old okay so let's translate this example so example number two so example number two we can again we can uh, use same strategy we will identify the uh, sub propositions this is a proposition and after if we have another proposition you are under four feet tall before unless and after unless we have another proposition you are older than 16 years old so we will represent you can write the roller coaster with q propositional variable and then r variable will represent you are four feet tall and s variable will represent you are older than 16 years old okay before translating this uh, english sentence we can rephrase this sentence by using here after if there comes if word in a sentence you can start you can start this sentence with f if okay so you can uh, you can rephrase this statement by this and you can place this after then okay so i have rephrased the above statement uh, using this english sentence okay now i can easily replace uh, uh, this english sentence into equivalent logical operators or expressions okay so if means there is a conditional operator and you are four feet tall means uh, there is we can replace it by r unless mean unless means not okay unless means not okay so here is uh, uh, here is finishing one statement and another statement is starting now okay so we can say uh, there will be and and because there is there is starting another uh, proposition so here and will comes will come and unless mean not so we will negate the next proposition which is s which is representing s so there comes uh, negation s and we will compose if you if we have multiple uh, propositional variables so we can compose with the braces and then after uh, conditional variable you can replace this statement by negation q okay so in this way you can easily uh, convert above english sentence into equivalent logical expressions i hope you have understood what we have done here okay so uh, you can find this example solution also in this book and uh, uh, we will also have some examples next